McBride, one of the other ones you mentioned, again, he really helped himself at the combine. Uh, measured really well. Kid has some long arms. Like he's only six foot one, six one, but he measured a six nine wingspan. Wow. I mean, kid's just a tremendous defender. Will absolutely lock you up. And quite frankly, he's the kind of ball handler or the kind of on ball defender that just puts you in hell. Yeah. Uh, that's just plain and simple. He makes life really difficult for you. A really good shot maker. Undersized kind of for a one. He's undersized for a two at six foot one. So offensively with McBride, you have to really have a niche that you want him in if you're going to take him early. And that's part of McBride's game is like, you know, you can't have an undersized two guard at six foot one unless you're, you know, you're scoring like Lou will, mm -hmm. you know, so that's, that's, that's something you got to take into account. He's not that kind of offensive player. Another scrappy defender who you liked at 21, uh, more of a combo guard out of West Virginia, Miles McBride. What's the intel on Miles? Yeah, I love McBride. I told I told a couple teams I'd take him in the twenties when they're asking, and, and they've been a little bit unsure about him. But uh, man, he is uh, his signature. His identity was always like speed and defense. Mm. And then this year, he just really evolved offensively to the point where okay, we could take him seriously now as an NBA prospect. And when he measured a six nine wingspan, I mean size was always a, a question mark with him. But a six nine wingspan, just like quickly, like that's helpful when you're that size. And so I expect him to be another pesky defender, but offensively he he gets into his pull-ups so easily, and he didn't hit it at the greatest clip, but he made a lot of pull-ups this year, and eventually they're going to fall, I think, in my opinion, in a more consistent clip. And he was over forty percent from downtown. Again, he's not he's not a guy you bring in to run your offense for thirty minutes, but you bring him off the bench to play fast, to play hard, to cause problems, to make plays. You know, fifteen twenty minute guy like i'm a big fan of mcbride i'd take him in the 20s i'd certainly consider him with the next second pick to me he's somebody worth taking as long as you can accept that he's not like a star point guard and you can you know you accept his role which is going to be energy guy